lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Let's get into the monthly readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As you guys know, we are at the busiest time of the season, so if you guys are trying to get consultations or spell work or any of the services we provide, now is the time to do so. You can find our online store on the link below. All right, let's get into it. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Hope you guys are as excited and ecstatic as I am. As you guys know, this is the favorite time of the year for me. So I am definitely interested and curious. How do you guys celebrate? If in fact you celebrate Hallow's Eve or Halloween, definitely comment below. Let me know what is your traditions. What is it that you do with your family? If you do anything or even if it's a movie night, whatever it is that you do, I am definitely interested in knowing. All right, let's get into it. Sagittarius, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, give us clarity and insight. Allow me to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2022. Give me four cards to represent Earth, Air, Fire, and Water for their monthly reading. Let's get it. Okay, Sagittarius. Here we go. Okay, in regards to your finances, in regards to the element of earth, you have the hermit card. So I see you guys really, for some of you guys, you have been experiencing or going through a lot of changes, changes in regards to your perspective or how you've seen your work or, you know, currently where you're working at. It's like taking inventory of your life, inventory of what it is that you want, what it is that you've been wanting, what you've attained, um, where you're at at this point in time. A lot of internalizing, a lot of seeking answers within yourself, Sagittarius. And this is a very beautiful card because it represents reflection, but it also represents uh being enlightened, being able to see things on a much more deeper level. You're seeking uh, more of meaningful things in life. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this can also represent transition. So it could represent changing or thinking about changing a career, your job, where you're currently at, or like I said, taking inventory of where you're at, how far you've gone, and how much you're wanting to keep moving forward. So beautiful energy here. Now, in regards to the element of air communication, we have the four of cups. So for some of you guys, there is a missing or thinking of someone or a situation that perhaps could have had a different outcome. Uh, for a lot of you guys, this could also symbolize, you know, a relationship where there's been some distancing or some type of disconnect. Now, in regards to the element of fire, the challenge here is the two of swords. So you go from the hermit to the two of swords. The Two of Swords is almost like feeling like the universe is throwing things your way. There is obviously a lesson to be learned that hasn't yet been mastered. So you can find yourself going through this cycle of feeling like where you're at right now or what you're experiencing is something you've experienced in the past. Now, what your higher self is telling you at this point in time, it is necessary to disconnect from distractions. You need to get to the needy greedy. You need to get to the bottom of things. What, Where are you at at this point in your life? Are you happy? If you're not, what is it that you're doing to change the outcome? What is it that you're doing to change the circumstances in your life? Whether it's in career, whether it's in relationships, whether it's, um, you know, when it comes to your goals and aspirations or when it comes to family or family dynamic. The Two of Swords always indicates having the need to shut out the world. You're trying to figure out what it is that you want. You're trying to figure out a decision that needs to be made. But there is still some hesitation because the Four of Cups is here. And the Four of Cups is feeling not uh, feeling very unhappy about a certain event that happened. Um, and focusing primarily on the missed opportunity. You're focusing primarily on what's going wrong in your life. Instead of focusing in the positive, and like I said, what is it that you need to do in order to change the situation, to get out of that cer certain situation that you're going through? So again, a lot of internalizing. My advice for you guys this month, if, if you're feeling nostalgic or if you're feeling a bit sad, a bit um, 
nostalgic, like I said, a bit disconnected, very much in your head. Try the best you can to avoid distractions this month. You need to get to the bottom of what it is that you're feeling at this point in time, why you feel uh, that you're not content or that there's something missing in your life. Is it that perhaps you've given yourself 100% to work and to your finances because you're trying to ignore or you're trying to suppress a certain aspect in your life where you feel like there's something missing there or there's no action or it's non-existent at this point. It's almost like trying to escape something that you feel is missing within you. Um, like I said, for some of you guys, it could be a relationship. It could be uh, that there could have been some time where you spent in solitude and now uh, you've committed yourself or put yourself, kept yourself busy with distractions so that you don't fully feel the feelings that you're feeling. But sometimes that's necessary. Why? Because again, they're encouraging you to reflect to cut out distractions to get to the bottom of what's bothering you for this month, Sagittarius. It's kind of like taking inventory and realizing, you know what, I am at this point and perhaps I am not exactly where I want to be, but I can get from point A to point B if I put out uh, or if I discipline myself to uh, wanting to take the steps towards getting to point B. So again, it's about analyzing where you're at right now. What is it that you're trying to hide, escape, or suppress in order to feel uh, or to be able to fully heal and move forward? Now, in regards to relationships and partnerships here, we have the three of pentacles. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with uh, a situation where perhaps there was lack of um, effort, lack of effort. Someone in this connection hasn't been putting uh, or doing what they're supposed to do to make things happen or to keep the relationship or to build, continue building the relationship. Three of Pentacles, I'm feeling like it's more on the reverse position. So there is a decision that needs to be made in this month of October. For some of you guys, it could be life in general. For others of you, it could be a decision in regards to your career or your profession. While others, it could be in regards to a relationship where you feel like Things are not progressing and they're not changing. And the reason for that could be because they stopped trying. So at this point, do you save yourself or do you choose to remain there being stuck? My advice. Love yourself, you know, love yourself enough to know that you deserve reciprocation. And if they're not putting that effort, it's time for you to pull your energy back and focus on other areas of your life that may need nurturing because right now at this point, I don't see you guys motivated. And in order to be able to be focused, you need to be motivated. And if people are drowning or dragging your energy and leaving you depleted, there needs to happen. There needs to be a change that happens, okay? All right, what is the final message here? Spirit's final message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit's final message here for Sagittarius. Okay, we have one card that popped out and we have the seat. So again, I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with emotions. You're dealing with a relationship where at some point, if the partner is not deciding to walk away or to end the deceit, the lies, or the lack of effort, um, stop lying to yourself, Sagittarius. It's not, if they're not taking or making a decision, it's time that you make a decision and you need to make that decision for yourself. What is best for you at this point in time? All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of guidance, some type of insight, and we will see each other on the next one. Till then, bye-bye.